So I'm excited because I'm going to be publishing out my first Chrome extension. I'm not a master coder. I had ChatGBT actually write the script. I've done previous videos about it, how I didn't like on Reddit. You can't auto expand all the comments. You got to manually click each one. So it was a good solution for me. I provided that also to other people, but there's a lot of extra steps. And I went to ChatGBT. I'm like, how easy is it to create a Chrome extension? I thought it'd be hard. Actually, it was really simple. So I'll show you some of the steps. So I went into ChatGBT, I gave it the script, and I said, what do I need to do? And it's like, okay, well, first thing, you have to create a folder, and you gotta have these three files. This one, it already provided me everything that I needed from my script, the content.js. It simply took my script and removed some of the comments effectively, I said, you're good to go. And then the last one is just an icon that looks like this. I did it in Canva, but you can even ask ChatGPT to generate it for you. So with that, it then told me to um, load it locally. So all I had to do was then go to Chrome extensions, load it in, um, sometimes it'd work, sometimes it doesn't. You gotta test it locally so you can then modify the file and click this little refresh button to make it work. Another thing that maybe wasn't listed here, but it stated, hey, you should probably think about adding a little toggle button. Like people may like that. I'm like, all right, let's add that in there too, let's go. So then from there, um, I got all my files created and then I needed to create my own little dashboard here. Uh, you pay like a developer fee of $5, which for me is real reasonable. And it's not like every extension costs $5. I think it's just literally for your account, you pay a one-time fee of $5. Um, you go through, you submit it, you have to fill out some, some forms, different tabs, but nothing too hard. You just keep going back to ChatGPT and right now it's out there for pending review. And with that being said, I'm really excited because I like simplifying things and solving problems. This extension may not be the best. It may not get the greatest ratings. It doesn't matter. It solves my problem. Hopefully it solves other people's problems. And I learned something in the process. I can always go back, learn more about code. I can create more extensions, but hopefully it can also provide you with a little bit more context as to how you can solve other people's problems and use these tools to do something in a cool, creative way. I'll see you guys in the next video.